The short hair, how long have you been rocking that for? It's about a year and a half now. I cut it off when I left my bitch ass baby daddy. Mm. He's a bitch. Now, <laughs> when it comes to the short hair, I thought you were rocking this longer than a year and a half. No, I, I did it previously. Um, I, I cut my hair. The first time I ever cut my hair, I was like 18 years old. And I, I was infatuated with Amber Rose at the time. <laughs> and I just cut all my hair off. Then I grew it out. And I started growing my hair out. And I started wearing more like dread extensions. I started actually dreading my hair. And then I had, um, I just be going through phases, like change, like I just thought, I'm, I'm young still. Like I don't want to have one look, I'm indecisive. So I just cut it off again. And it's so much easier now. And now that I'm like, I'm way more busier than I was when I was younger. So I, all I do is wake up and comb my hair to the side and walk out the door. Like, it's a, I feel free, like a free woman with no hair. I feel like when Amber Rose really burst onto the scene with her short hairstyle, a lot of women yes. were inspired by it and tried it and copied it and yeah, like that sort I of mean, thing. she made she made women feel like they can be beautiful without hair. And you, in in society, people are so so like just materialistic and just so egotistic with shit. Like men are just so like, oh, I need a woman with long hair and big boobs and a big ass and long and nails. They want like. You don't have to be that like that to be beautiful. And I like the fact that I feel like I can still look beautiful without having a fucking long ass weave down to my fucking back. But that doesn't work for everybody. There's some people when they do the short hair, it doesn't fit their face oh, no, or yeah, it doesn't yeah, look not, good. Short hair is not for everybody. If you look like a horse in the face, do not try short hair. I think <laughs> when I look at some of your pictures and I see you with long hair, to me, you look better with short hair. It looks oh, very natural and you. it fits you and your face and your look. Thank it, you. It's almost like when you, when I seen pictures of you with long hair, it almost looks like it's, I don't want to say fake or it it's forced. forced. Yeah, because it, it wasn't me. It just doesn't, me. Yeah. I don't think it was me. Like I was, I was doing long hair because I thought men liked long hair and I always, I was young and stupid. Like I was just trying to appease everybody else. I was thinking that the industry I was in, because I used to do a lot of modeling back then too, like, and I was thinking that, oh, I'm not gonna get in a video shoot or not gonna get in this magazine if I don't got hair down to my ass or like a full set of weave, like, and then in the dancing industry, men, it's a fantasy, you sell in a fantasy, like they wanna see long ass hair from the back, like no man wanna see no bald headed bitch from the back usually, so. They might think it's a man. Or <laughs> exactly, like that. or the tranny that they thought I was. Now, <laughs> now, now, when people see Amber Rose, or I don't even say when people see Amber Rose, when I see Amber Rose and I see her in long hair, it's it looks, that same feeling. It's forced. it's forced. It doesn't look right. She looks better with short hair. Yeah. To me, you're one of the few people that you actually look better with short hair. Thank you. I appreciate that. I really do. <laughs> do other people say the same thing to you? Have you heard this? I've before, heard or? it before, but I thought it was just because I've heard it from my friends. So I was like, okay. oh, they're just they're just saying that. That's that's sweet though. I like that. Thank you. Mm. 